Iceland's summers are surprisingly warm, lush, and green, with days lengthening until midsummer, when the sun dips down to the horizon but never sets. A great day trip from Reykjavik is to head towards Vik, where you'll find beautiful waterfalls along the way, as well as volcanic glaciers. Selenfoss. This waterfall allows you to walk behind. We are now taking the path behind the falls. Skoga Museum. Skoga means forest, and it is a small village with a population of roughly around twenty five. It is known for its beautiful waterfall, Skogafoss, which is on the Skoga River, which springs from 60 meters of eroded cliffs. Skogafoss. It is believed that a troll lost a couple of his treasure chests down at the bottom. Nobody has ever found them yet. We decided to take a super jeep tour up the glacier to Katla, which is one of the largest volcanoes in Iceland. We flattened the tires for better traction on the glaciers. Or, if you prefer, you can also snowmobile to the top. In 2010, there was the major eruption of Ayatfiatlajökull, which shut down airports for almost a month. And in 2011, the Grimsvotn volcano erupted, but it wasn't as extreme. In the past, eruptions from these volcanoes have triggered activity in Katla and a major eruption is expected soon from Katla. In fact, increased seismic activity has been detected since June of 2012. In the city of Vik, you will find these basalt sea stacks. Legend says that the stacks originated when two trolls dragged a ship to land unsuccessfully, and when daylight broke, they became needles of rock. Not far away, you'll find one of my favorite spots, a beautiful black pebble beach. Apart from being surrounded by cliffs and caves, it is backed by a giant stack of basalt columns. Usually you will find puffins all over the place, but right now, the middle of May through the middle of June, it's puffin breeding season, so not one was to be found. Another trail turned to stone by the morning light. For the nature reserve, just look for the arched doorway. You will find here a nesting colony of seabirds, including puffins. Just remember during the middle of May to the middle of June, most of it is closed for the puffin breeding. There's still so much to see and do, so instead of turning back, I spent the night just outside of Vik. Just an hour and a half past Vik, you'll find the Grand Canyon of Iceland, which is really cool. The rock road to get here is a little rough, and they recommend not to bring a rental car too far up, but a lot of small cars had no problems at all. 
carved by glacier rivers two million years ago. It is full of spikes, arches, and scary ledges. Take the hour round trip hike along the eastern ledge for the most compelling views. This mountain is a promontory in Upstater. Vetna Yukul, the largest ice cap between the Arctic and Antarctic circles. The battle between ice and fire still rages within the park's boundaries. Seven active volcanoes are situated underneath this ice cap, including Grimsvotten, the volcano that erupted in 2011. Iceland is a backpacker's paradise, and we camped here at Skaftafell National Park. They have an amazing trail down to Svartafoss, the Black Waterfall, which is one of Iceland's most picturesque waterfalls. Just 20 minutes past, you will come to the most amazing viewpoint. Now here you won't be able to see the midnight sunset, but it's still beautiful. This is Iceland's white night. It's 1.30 a.m. Next on the trail, you will come to the turf-roofed cell farmhouse, built in 1912. Take a glacier walk, but do a tour where it's safer due to the hidden quicksand. Since 1920, the glacier has been receding very quickly, leaving this breathtaking lagoon behind. Icebergs float in the lagoon all year, and you can watch as chunks of ice crash into the water. While you're there, you can take the amphibian boat tour out onto the water. This lagoon has been a setting for Hollywood movies such as A View to Kill, Die Another Day, Tomb Raider, and Batman Begins. The black you see is volcanic ash from the recent eruptions. Thanks for joining me on my tour of the land of fire and ice.